Erica Jane from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills has been in a lot of hot water this season for allegations she helped her soon-to-be ex-husband Tom Girardi hide assets. Despite the stress of the moment, she has been unequivocally supported by her fellow castmates. Girardi is under fire after numerous lawsuits claim he mismanaged his clients' funds, with orphans and widows bearing the brunt of his mistakes. Many clients claim they never received any of the money they were promised, and the situation looks grim on all fronts. Erica, however, claims innocence and insists Girardi maintained a strict power dynamic throughout their marriage that excluded her from intimate access to their financial information without approval. Her efforts to separate herself from the lawsuit narrative are backed up by the other housewives, who emphasize they know Erica as a good person. On the show, she even wept openly while talking to Kyle Richards via Zoom and later in person. Kyle responded with her own tears and questions and reinforced that Erica could call her anytime if she needs her. Still, the support of her fellow cast members hasn't stopped intense criticism in the media. Erica's situation was even featured in an in-depth ABC documentary investigating the very public scandal. In the midst of it all, Erica seems to have counted herself lucky to have friends in her fellow housewives. In her fresh phase of vulnerability, financially, emotionally, professionally, and otherwise, it is hard to imagine Erica receiving the same level of support if former castmate Lisa Vanderpump was still reigning over Beverly Hills. When asked about Lisa not attending her Chicago premiere in 2020, Erica said she hadn't spoken to Lisa and likely wouldn't. Many years earlier, when Lisa and her husband Ken initially dined out with Erica and Tom, Lisa noted Tom's charm and charisma. However, that never stopped her from poking Erica here and there and testing the boundaries. If Lisa was still a mainstay of the franchise, it's difficult to imagine her embracing Erica's pain with open arms. Instead, it seems more likely she would show some superficial kindness while relishing in the potential downfall of a worthy adversary. When asked about it on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, the political mastermind said, Oh wow, that's not an easy question. She explained, It's been absolutely fascinating this whole thing played out, but I actually just feel so bad for the victims. Lisa continued, I just don't understand that 40,000 per month glam squad, and when you see these poor people, it is very devastating. Notably, Vanderpump did not share any concern for Erica, whom she once considered a friend, and even roasted Erica for a less-than-perfect condolence card after her brother's death. On the other hand, Lisa was extremely quick to align herself with the plaintiffs against Girardi. If Lisa did decide to rejoin the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, there is no doubt that she will have cooked up a plan to stir the pot in what she dubbed a fascinating yet devastating situation.